Welcome everybody to another motocross action video. I'm Josh Mosman and today we are testing the 2023 and a half Gas Gas MC450 Factory Edition. Very excited to finally ride this bike. Now it's time for me to finally get my hands on this new platform. Yes, it is not crazy new because it's a lot like the KTM and Husky 2023 models, but this MC450 is brand new for Gas Gas. It's Gas Gas finally jumped up to the new platform that KTM and Husky had for 2023. This is a preview of what's to come on the Gas Gas in 24. Plus it has a lot of other trick parts and some key differences from the KTM and Husqvarna that I'm excited to highlight in this video. Before we get into the riding impressions of this bike, let's talk a little bit about what differentiates this Gas Gas from the KTM and Husqvarna bikes. Let's rewind things a little bit. KTM bought Gas Gas and started platform sharing bikes back in 2021. Now that 21 Gas Gas MC450F was built off of the KTM 450 with a few less parts on it to drop down the retail price. It also had softer suspension settings, closed off air box. They did as much as they could to make the bike feel a little more plush and have a little bit of a different engine character. Fast forward to 2022, they got some updates. 2023, KTM and Husqvarna, all new. All new frame, engine, subframe, swing arm, and shock. But they didn't update Gas Gas for the 2023 season. So last year, the factory riders, Justin Barsha, Michael Mosman, Pierce Brown, riding previous KTM models, while KTM and Husky jumped up to the new generation bike. For 2023 and a half, now this factory edition has jumped back on par with KTM and Husqvarna. It's jumped right back in line. It has the same frame, same engine, all the same chassis, and the whole, all the same specs as the KTM and Husky bikes. For us at Motocross Action, we get to test all of the major motorcycles and we were begging Gas Gas not to update their bikes. We wanted them to keep producing old KTMs because we like that chassis, we like that engine, and we wanted a different KTM to ride. We didn't want to have three of the same KTMs and three different colors. Unfortunately, the powers that be at Gas Gas and at the KTM group decided, yes, we're going to update the Gas Gas bikes. And that's what we're seeing here on this factory edition MC450F. So when you compare this Gas Gas, 450 to last year's Gas Gas 450. This is all new, totally changed, nothing like the old bike. If you compare it to the KTM and Husqvarna bikes like we are, it's just kind of the same old what we had last year on those models with a few slight differences. So what makes this bike different? Well, it's got all of the factory power parts upgrades on it that KTM and Husqvarna got on their factory and Rockstar Edition bikes. So it has the factory power parts WP split triple clamps that come stock on this bike. It has the power parts wheels with the red hubs, black rims, red spoke nipples. It also has black handlebars. It has a bigger gas gas bar pad, which is very nice. The stock one is like tiny and really weird looking. It comes with ODI grips, lock on grips, the same as the stock bike, but these are gray to match kind of the colors of the race team. Obviously it comes with the Toyota Designs race team graphics that look ultra trick. And obviously also it has the gripper seat cover on it. It has a stock header, but an acropovic muffler. Interesting note about the header. This actually comes with the KTM header. So it has the resonance chain on there a little more power a little more linear pull with that resonance chamber but when the 2024 gas gas comes out it's going to be back to that kind of straight header pipe without the resonance chamber to drop down the retail price and also change the engine character a little bit as well plus this bike also comes with did chain and aftermarket sprocket on the rear so lots of little upgrades on this bike to make it very similar to the rockstar edition and ktm 450 factory edition bikes as far as suspension settings go this is the ktm 450 factory Factory edition settings. It, it mimics the 2023 KTM and the 2024 KTM settings. Only changes from last year's KTM 450 is some internal mods to make a little less of a movement with each click. KTM and WP, the suspension components for KTM, they thought that the 2023 models, when you made one clicker adjustment, it was too much of a change. They wanted to fine tune it by reducing that change to make sure that uh, you could just fine tune the settings for you. That way, if you're clicking two, three, and four times, you're not going to go way 
stay off the charts with your settings um, and keep them kind of in line. So that's something that they updated on this bike, but it's otherwise the settings aren't any different. We were hoping for softer settings on gas gas, something to differentiate this bike from the KTM factory edition, but unfortunately it's got the same suspension. A couple more extra goodies that you get with the factory edition bike. You get the floating front and brake disc. You also get a front brake disc cover. You also get a whole shot device from WP in the power parts catalog, and you get a Henson clutch cover on your gas gas 450 factory edition. So lots of upgrades on this bike that set it apart from the stock model. And you also, the biggest one really is the map switch. I almost forgot to mention that. The map switch does not come stock on the 23 gas gas 450 and it won't come stock on the 24 gas gas 450. So if you're looking for a 24 bike, but you know you're gonna add a map switch on there, you know you're gonna add an aftermarket muffler on there and you know you're gonna add a skid plate, well, might as well get this 23 and a half factory edition because that already comes with those products on there. So the one big difference that I haven't mentioned yet that sets the gas gas apart from the KTM and Husky is that this bike has all new bodywork. Yes, you can see that from the outside, but underneath that bodywork, it has a new aluminum subframe. So a little bit of a different shape to the airbox and a completely different subframe on this bike. So the KTM and Husky models, they have new subframes for 23 and 24, but those subframes are aluminum and plastic carbon composite mixed together to make those subframes. This one is completely different. It's aluminum subframe with some plastic carbon composite surrounding it. And uh, it's quite a bit different. So that is one big difference about this bike comparing it to your KTM and Husky. If you wanna make your KTM and Husky look like a gas gas, if you wanna swap plastics over, you're gonna need that aluminum subframe. You're also gonna need this new gas gas 450 fuel tank as well to mount up all the plastics and everything. So this bike looks exotic. As you guys can see, the airbox cover and the side number panel stretch all the way across to the shroud. So it's pretty wild looking and it takes a little bit to learn how to take it on and off the bike. But underneath that, that airbox, box cover and the side number panel is that great twin air filter that comes stock on these bikes and it is just so easy to pop in and out it's the easiest air filter to change <laughs> other differences about this bike one notably is the weird plastic cover that goes around the gas cap on this gas gas 450 factory edition so i've seen it on my brother's bike i've seen it on barsha's bike for the last few months and i've always wondered how do you take the seat off with this cover going on and and why did gas gas put this red cover around this the gas cap so uh, i figured out the answer to get the seat off you have to pull the airbox cover off and then behind there is an eight millimeter bolt that's how you pull the seat off luckily you don't have to pull the seat off to change the air filter so why is this plastic cover on the gas tank? The answer is that Troy Lee, the owner of the Troy Lee Designs Red Bull Gas Gas factory team and the owner of Troy Lee Designs Gear, he wanted a red tank on their Gas Gas 450 and Gas Gas 250 models for Supercross. He wanted KTM to make it all red. They said, hey, we can't make it all red just for our factory edition bikes. It's too expensive, too much. We're going with black. But they said, we can add a plastic cover to make it look red on top. And Troy Lee said, okay, I'm good with that. It looks pretty cool. It's definitely interesting. It's kind of kind of goofy, but something that fun to hear the story and uh, learn a little bit. About. Another note, while I was drilling the KTM Husqvarna Gas Gas guys about this bike, trying to learn if there's anything different about this bike. I did get an answer on why they changed the radiator cap for these new generation bikes. As you know, it had a standard radiator cap before and we loved them, had no complaints with the radiator caps. Now they have these black plastic radiator caps that we've actually seen come loose a couple times. So definitely not a fan of these new radiator caps. We've seen aftermarket companies 
companies replace them with the standard radiator cap. But the answer to why they changed it is because Marvin Muskan, he has actually kicked off radiator caps on his KTM 450. So performance upgrade, something that KTM decided, hey, we know that nobody's gonna kick this one off and it'll be safer and better. From a look standpoint, it looks a lot cheaper. And from a performance standpoint, we never had issues with radiator caps before. And we have heard of a few issues with these current caps. So something definitely to keep an eye on to make sure it's tight before you go out onto the track. And uh, we will continue to test it. And if we have more issues with it, we'll be sure to report it in other upcoming videos. If I sound a little bit bummed in this video, it's because I am. I wish the gas gas would have spec'd softer suspension settings. I wish they would have done a little bit more to the mapping of this bike to change it from the KTM and Husky. But unfortunately, this is very much like a red KTM with a beautiful cherry red plastics and beautiful cherry red frame. Everybody loves the red bike. Although these plastics look exotic and crazy, most of the people that have seen them and most of the people that we've talked to like the look of this new gas gas 450 factory edition. I just wish they would expect some softer suspension, different upgrades to the bike to set it apart further from the KTM and Hussey. Really what I wish is that they would just keep producing the 2022 Gas Gas because that was such a good bike and it would have really set apart uh, the three different brands. So motocross action, we test lots of different bikes and obviously it's better for us if bikes are different, but unfortunately this is a red KTM with just a few minor differences. On the track, it works great. Today was our first day of riding this bike, so we will continue to put more time on it. We couldn't notice any difference in the feel of this bike today. We're riding out here in the hills of uh, Southern California. So this isn't our typical training grounds and our typical testing grounds at Glen Helen. That's where we'll be able to tell a little more differences, but the aluminum subframe to us seemed like it worked just like the standard subframe that comes on the KTM and Husky. As for the power character, this Gas Gas MC450 has an amazing, amazing engine. We do love that about the Austrian bikes. They are so smooth and linear off the bottom end. They're just friendly to ride. We had some good moisture under the dirt today, but it was a little dry on top in some of the sections and this gas gas easily catches traction. Thanks to traction control also, you have lots of options on the map switch of this gas gas 450. You have map one, the standard white map, and you have map two, the green aggressive map. Impressive to see what KTM and Husky and now gas gas have in, in the differences between their bikes. We've asked for it for years to have a bigger difference between map one and map two, and they answered that prayer last year on KTM and Husky. Now this year on the factory edition gas gas. Big difference between the maps map two the green map a lot more exciting off the bottom end but when you click that tc mode on it is much more mellow a lot smoother around the corners and that's something that'll save a lot of energy it's definitely not something that our pro riders like myself ezra lewis and even connor styers we don't really want to ride in that traction control mode because it changes the power character so much it's not as easy to jump over bumps and even hit jumps coming out of corners we'd rather manage the rear wheel traction with our right hand rather than relying on the electronics so that's something that for me as a pro level rider, I'm only gonna click it on if it's crazy dry and slick or crazy muddy and slick on the track. As for the handling of the Gas Gas MC450 Factory Edition, yes, it handles like a KTM. Same ride height, same suspension, same WP Exact air forks. It sits taller in the rear, especially when compared to last year's Gas Gas and the previous KTMs. It does sit a lot taller in the rear, but we still like the 105 sag setting on these bikes. We also like to bump it up the air pressure. For myself, I like to run around 11 bar. Uh, some of our test riders go even stiffer. Dennis Stapleton likes crazy stiff forks. And a lot of our vet test riders and our novices will drop it down to 10.8 bar and even 10.7 bar to get a little more traction on the front end and because they're not hitting the bumps as hard or as fast. So this Gas Gas 450, super smooth power band and uh, handling as well. They rotated the engine back to lower the counter shaft sprocket to get less squat on corner exit. And they also beefed up the chassis to make it a little bit stiffer, to make it less pitching coming into corners as well. So overall, the 
goal with these new Austrian bikes, KTM Husqvarna Gas Gas, was to be a little more balanced and also continue to retain that smooth engine character that KTM has had for a while now. So I really like this Gas Gas MC450F. I'm getting ready to race a few AMA nationals this year and I'm deciding I'm gonna do four different rounds on four different bikes and I'm thinking I might swap this Gas Gas into the lineup and use it as one of the races. So looking forward to that. Thank you guys for tuning in to this video of Motocross Action's tested series. We are gonna continue riding this bike and if we learn anything more about it, which I'm sure we will, we will definitely feature that in a future issue of Motocross Action Magazine. So be sure to subscribe to Motocross Action. It's $24.99 to subscribe to the magazine for the entire year. And we will send you a free $25 e-gift card to shop with Rocky Mountain ATV MC online. So it's a win-win. MXA shipped to your front door for 12 months out of the year and 25 bucks to Rocky Mountain. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you in the next video.